Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, getting back to Mag Mammal 2, and it's time for the talky bit video for Yggdrasil. However you pronounce that. The bad Scrabble Hand World Tree. Right then. Snowrun Pyro. Why? Jupy Hornet. I'm gonna be honest, what did I just play? No one is going to be able to beat this without dying several times unless I've already memorized the stage. The force beam sections were cheap, and there was nothing showing where the lasers would come from. Some of the Yoku block sections were cool, but there was a jump in one of them that required Rush Jet or Super Arrow to get across. Was there? I don't remember having to use that anywhere. Unless I'm just really confused, which is very possible. The enemies flood the screen with projectiles, and you're almost guaranteed to get hit by them, unless you know where they all are. In some sections, there are instant warps and pits next to each other with no distinction between the two. This is all very unfortunate, because the stage is creative and looks really cool. You have to design your levels with other players in mind. Angel. Usually in my reviews, if a level fails at something, I try to isolate this point of failure and give feedback and ideas on how to iron it out to make the level better. In this review, I will omit the latter part, because if all of the level's issues were ironed out, the level would be a completely different level. This level's issues basically boil down to fundamental principles of game design, and it manages to fail in terms of clarity, fairness, difficulty, curve, uh, difficulty curve, guidance, boss design, and consistency alike. This level basically asks the player to fully understand how the level is laid out, where every trap lies, how to deal with the incredibly powerful and spammy enemies, and how to fight each of the three bosses and in which order to fight them before they even start playing. I'm trying hard to find a redeemable aspect of this level, and I'm sorry, but I can't find one. Gariri. Okay, there's just so much wrong with this level. Let's start with the basics. The boss sprites are bad, and their designs remind me of very bad OCs. Also, their dialogue is hard to read and scrolls way too fast. Then the level itself isn't even that good. In fact, far from it, the Oku blocks and quick lasers are often unpredictable and hard to get through. The placement of overpowered enemies is also absolutely awful. Not to mention the boss fights are cheap and random. Then comes the main problem. This level is extremely buggy. I'm often not sure I'm, I'm often not even sure where the collisions are, the whole warp to the other side of the screen thing is hardly working, and there are plenty of graphical bugs. I honestly can't say anything else. I like the music choices, but it's just so bad. And for those who wanted long actual comments instead of comics, a spark. That was among the least enjoyable Mega Man experiences I've ever had. Worse than half the nonsense zero effort from uh, ROM hacks of Rockman 2, more unplayable than those garbage mobile phone ports, more annoying than the Upon a Star OVA, and yes, worse than X7 and its stupid face. I will gladly fight Flame Hyenard again and again with full sound, rather than play this stage again. I'd happily go through Act 7 with all the sound replaced with Flame Hyenard vocal cues. My friends, any Let's Players, if you are going to skip any level in this contest, make it this one. I cannot understate how unfun this stage was. I was stuck in this level for over an hour on my first passes, and I hated every minute of it. Are you ready, kids? Settle in. This is the long one. This level does not start off well. We get walls of text, I know, sorry, from three random characters that speed by so quickly the player does not have a chance to even read them. Going up with the bloop segment, we have Quickman lasers. The fact they are introduced safely seems like a positive. Wait a few seconds though on the screen with a Sniper Joe though, and suddenly lasers. There is no indication at all that this room is going to be dangerous, especially since there is a newly introduced enemy in this room that will stump the player the first time they see it. Home to this stage is an original warping gimmick, and at first the rules seem obvious. Go off the edge of the screen and you'll warp to the other side. This is a lovely idea, but it turns out there are no rules to this gimmick at all. The rules to this thing change between rooms. Sometimes you can walk into somewhere completely innocuous and you'll warp elsewhere. Sometimes logical spots for warps don't have them. Outside of trial and error, there is no way to tell where you'll end up with this gimmick and whether or not you'll be led to a pit. I haven't even mentioned the enemy set yet. They're so bad. We are not playing Toho. Mega Man actually has a huge hitbox, and more to the point, bullet hull shoot 'em up games actually have patterns to the masses of projectiles, not just total RNG like this. I eventually reached the first of the three bosses, the boss with the sword. Its damage output is nuts. It can and will pull off attacks when it feels like it with little to no warning, and is completely invincible whilst making these attacks. The only good option to beating him is to use his weakness. He is so far off the power scale that Buster only is practically unbeatable. Uh, learned that the hard way. That was one route, of three. Oh no. 
The green route uses Yoku blocks. The main issue with this route is the sheer number of traps and gacha moments placed along the screens, usually on long horizontal corridors. Outside of trial and error, it is impossible to gauge where you are supposed to jump to next, since often the platform you are on vanishes just as the one you are supposed to jump on appears. If this is the first route you go to, then this route also introduces you to the screen warping gimmick in a matter that is completely at odds with sensible gimmick introduction. You're in the middle of crossing Yoku blocks and have to just hope something saves you from falling into a pit of spikes. This might be a good time to state this. It is really difficult to tell what is and isn't a spike in this level. And as nifty as the level looks at first, it is incredibly hard to tell where it is solid at a glance, thanks to the isometric pattern. As we reach the boss of this area, another major issue become apparent. Bullet spam much? There does not seem to be any rhyme or reason behind this boss. It was rather dreadful, and this point it might be one of the worst submitted boss fights in the contest. Finally, there is the pink route, which might as well not exist. Many paths either have no gimmick other than awful enemy placement and bullets flying everywhere, or are poor man's versions of the other routes. The boss to this section is the only tolerable one, barely. She's invincible for far too much of the battle, and heals herself. What, she heals herself? Are there some just really weird wonky hitboxes going here? I didn't notice that. But she's doable, and at least the player is given some warning before her attacks, even if it isn't much. None of these bosses should turn up in the arena. So your stage is going to be memorable, for the wrong reasons. But hey, at least people can say, oh yes, Mag Mammal 2, that had the Yggdrasil stage. Man, I never want to see that level again. <sighs> that stage was definitely a thing. I talked about most of my issues during the stage itself. And it's like I've seen in a lot of the boss com- uh, uh, boss comments, judge comments. There were some interesting ideas, but so many of the gimmicks were introduced in very bad ways. And yes, the boss with the sword, way, way overpowered. Hits like a truck, can just deflect your shots at will, has basically no warning behind his attacks. Mm. That was a thing. That was a thing. So, yeah. Definitely think we've done enough recording for today. And, at the very least, like I said, I didn't have any direct spoilers as to what was in this stage. I just kept hearing, oh boy, next stage, Yggdrasil hype, oh, I, I'm i sorry you have to do this stage, etc, etc, things like that. And it's the one stage that I keep seeing warnings about in the comments. So, hopefully nothing in the future is quite this much of a thing? Anyway, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well. Definitely time for a Pokemon break.